<laughs> hey guys, hi. <laughs> You're like, what's going on? Oh, good, Simone can hear me. Hi, Ann. So, I was going to do a video for um, my Patreon group. Hi, Britt. I was going to do a, a, um, a live feed on Facebook, but there's audio issues. You can only have the camera, you know, vertical instead of horizontal. And it's it's not as much fun when there, it was just like me and Judy and Simona. So we decided to hop over here so we can have a whole bunch of people and talk and chat and, and goof off. Oh, Kathy, you're so close. We got to paint together. You're in Manassas, girl. You're close. I'm in Ruston. Oh, Terry from Terry from Ireland. How are you, darling? Glad to have you here. Yeah, this. Hi, Julie. <laughs> yeah, this is very, very like spur of the moment. I mean, I'm all set up and everything, but you know, we'll give people a couple minutes to hop on. We'll see how many get up to 57. Oh my gosh. So. Uh, oh my God, Karen, how are you, darling? Naples, oh my goodness. I got at the puppy pool tonight in everywhere. Hi, Lori. Hi, Ray Marie. Sandra, we're in Maryland. I like surprises too, Julie. South Carolina, hi, April. How bad is the lag? I have my, my iPad set up so I can, when I put the camera down on the canvas, I'll be able to still see your comments and talk to you guys. Tasmania, oh my gosh. Thanks for joining in, Jamie. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Sandra. Westminster in the UK. Nice. Hi, Taffy. Hi, Kirsty from Maine. I love Maine. Hi, Donna. San Diego. Oh, I have family in San Diego. Oh my goodness. Hi, Charmin. Welcome to the madness. Very impromptu. I didn't plan this or anything. It was planned for Facebook, like a private Facebook thing, but this is more fun, right? Hi, Kathy. Lake Orion, Michigan. I love hearing where everyone's from. Southern Arizona. Whoa. From Mass. Hi, Rose. All right. So, I am, I got everything made up. I got out my doggy pole. So, this could be a little kludgy because after I, like, put the colors down and then blow them out, one, the hair dryer is going to be loud because when I film, I turn it, like, I, I film in segments and I turn it down to, like, nearly zero because who wants to listen to the hair dryer? But you're going to have to put up with it during a live. And then I'm going to have to move the camera down to the doggy pole. So if you get jiggled or feel like you're on a roller coaster, just hang in there. <laughs> oh, Vancouver Island. So cool. Okay, so I'm going to put you guys down. Hopefully. Here goes. And get you set up. Get you set up on the uh, canvas. Sorry for jiggle. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna turn, um, I'll tighten it, loosen it, Goober. And let me flip the camera. And what are you looking at? Oh, you're looking at my ceiling. Okay, so if I can get it to freeze right there, right? Don't move. It'll stop shaking in a second. Hi, Pink, my hair. <laughs> That's a great, great uh, YouTube name. All right, so it needs to go. I'm off, right? Better? Yeah. Welcome, Krista. We goof around a lot. Grab something to drink. 
better. I'm going to put an apron on. Hold on. See, look, I got my apron. That's me. All right. Oh, your first deconstructed bloom. Congrats. So we're going to deconstruct tonight, except, well, not really, because it's not going to be a bloom. I'm not going to do um, puddles. I'm just going to do a big line. Tell us about fab. Fab was fab. It really was. It's... Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's a hell of a lot of work, like logistically, like U-Hauls filled with boxes and boxes and boxes and a lot of like on-site shopping. I think I have one that says Peaky Pants Britta. <laughs> um, but what makes it is when you actually finally get into classes and you can sit around with people and just talk and mix paint and help them with their pores. And it just, when I think about all the new friends I have and the friendships made and the camaraderie and everything, it's wonderful. We try to keep it um, pretty informal as best we can. Um, and we're always looking for like cool, unique venues and, and uh, keep the classes small. So like I, I had set a limit on mine at no more than 15 students. So, oh, hi, Maxine. I remember you. When's the next fab and where? Oh, my gosh. I'm still doing work. I'm getting ready to um, hopefully tomorrow or the next day send out a survey for everyone who attended so we can get your feedback. And the next one won't be until next spring. I mean, we're going to take the holidays off. And we'd like to move around the country. And all I can tell you is... We're thinking West Coast. That's what we're thinking. Subject to change. Oh, Sylvia is here from Holland. Hi, Sylvia. And yeah, I'm thinning these out a little bit and I'm just using water because I'm lazy. This is just my um, bloom recipe. So it's three to two ratio, three parts of the Bear 8300, two parts of the Josonia Gloss Varnish. And I have a custom color here. And the rest are just golden. This one needs like more pouring medium in it. So come to the Midwest. We have Chicago's on the list. Um, it's it's hard because we need we need to be able to fly in materials. We need a cool venue that doesn't break the bank. Um, we need, you know, we have criteria. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, I like the idea of Chicago very much. And it's a cool town. We're also, I mean, there's been so many, like, I was thinking, um, Santa Fe, New Mexico. There's been Sacramento, California. There's been Chicago on the list. Um, Boston has been on the list. A whole bunch. And it needs to be it needs to be in a city just for transportation purposes. Yeah, Arizona's on the list for sure. Boston, yeah, Sarah's in Boston. Michigan. Oh my gosh. Hi Wendy. What time is it in Australia? I guess it's morning there, right? It's the following morning. So it's not like like 6 a.m. That's my guess. I'm guessing. I have no idea. All right, I'm checking my consistency. I kind of want them to be a little thinner than normal, than my regular blooms. And that's for spinning purposes. Come to Ireland, I know. We had this pipe dream, we were talking about 10.50 a.m. Oh, so it's like a decent time. We were thinking of like, let's go to Sydney, Australia, and we'll just buy everything we need there, you know, so we don't have to ship stuff. And then we looked at airline tickets. 
<laughs> and then, you know, if we got a sticker shock. And plus, it just takes forever, like, to travel. Uh, too many places. All right. I'm going to get started. I'm not drinking alcohol tonight. I just have lemonade. Oh. So, cheers. Alright, so colors I have tonight, I sparkle, this is um, Golden's Alizarin Crimson U, it's a deep, deep red, it is super transparent, we also have Golden, this is Iridescent Gold Bright, so not the regular one, like this is the regular version, I don't know if you can tell the difference, and this is the bright one, it's it's way more brassy than the regular golden. Oops. And then we have my personal favorite, Cronacrido Nickel is a gold from Golden. And then I have one pigment. This is um, this little piggy in Fairy Floss. And I like the shade of it. I just wanted it a little bit darker, like to use darker so what i did was put in like two drops of cronacridone magenta into the fairy floss and hopefully i don't know because it, it turns because i'm almost out of it. it it's like two shades darker now so and i know that palette is like what but trust me i've i've done this before like a few years ago and loved it so hi kristen i know i love fairy floss too all right, so what I thought I'd do is, we're just gonna put it, well, first we're gonna put some house paint. So let me get my PPG Multi Pro. It was mixed up, brand new. And we're just gonna put this down in a line. Kinda like that. And clean off my fingers. So, and then instead of making a couple different puddles, I thought I would just take these and we're just going to do a line. And I'm not going to swipe because I find when I swipe, like I, I like my cells and everything to, you know, to be distorted and organic looking. And I find swiping to be too organized. Like the, the cells are, you know, very, very uniform. I'm weird that way. I think they're beautiful, don't get me wrong. So there's Elizabeth Crimson. We gotta put some Cuneg on the white because it'll make all pretty shades of orange and yellow. So we'll put that around it. And I'm not going end to end because when I go to spin this, it'll get to these short the short ends, or the, I'm sorry, the long ends, pretty quick. Uh, if I had to guess how much polo paint, I know because I've done it a million times. This is about two cups. I usually make up um, a measuring cup of four cups and I keep a cup in reserve. So typically three cups, but because I'm going on a spinner, this is probably two, two and a half for a 12 by 24. This is 12 by 24. Otherwise, my rule of thumb is two inches from all sides. That's just like a good rule of thumb. Let's throw on the berry floss. Not too much because it's pretty strong. And then the gold. I feel like we need more. <laughs> uh, let me see. Let's do, we're gonna do like a second layer. Just a little more of each.
Let's make it like a hot dog when you're putting on ketchup and mustard. Yeah. And then some gold. And then I'm gonna put just a little more of the alizarin crimson because I want my CA to kind of sit on that rather than the gold because I don't want to get that weird, weird green color. And that should do it. Now the tricky, I'm gonna move all this out of my way. So the tricky part is when I put my CA down in a big line, I gotta hurry up and blow it out um, before it sinks because it's not like a little dollop, it's a, a big long line. Um, and I'm using Oxide Black tonight with my Australian Flow Trial. And it's kind of on the thin side, it's closer to a four to one than three to one ratio. And I'm gonna go for it, you guys ready? It's gonna be noisy, it's gonna be high fan. Cool air, but high fan. Ready? Ooh. All right, here goes. I think I had too much CA. The colors are great. Um, why is your CA so thin? Shelly says two to one. I used three to one and I wanted it thin because I wanted it to spread out. It might have been too, too thin. You know me, I'll go again. I'm, you know. <laughs> and a lot of this, like the stuff here at the top, that's going to fly off. Like these two ends, I wasn't really worried about. The only part I care about is this middle strip. So now the tricky part is I'm going to put this in my spinner and move the camera down. So if it gets jiggly, because my, my puppy pool was on the floor of my tiny, tiny kitchen. <laughs> so um, let me move this first and put it in the puppy pool. Well, first I'm going to put some wet paint. All right, I want to move you guys down before I get my hands dirty. So, sorry for the jiggle. Let's go on a field trip. And what can you see? Can you see the spinner? Yeah, pretty good.
Pretty good? Hold on, I can't see what you're saying. I had to get my iPad. My iPad. Great, yeah? Sitting on the live with the TV, perfect weather. Oh, Michelle, rub it in. Oh, oh my gosh. Hi, Louise. Okay, looking good? Let's give this a spin. Now, I'm not gonna put any, um, any more paint down. I'd rather have it roll over itself. So I'm not gonna wet it or anything to help it slide. And we'll just do baby spin. And there goes the ends. Like I said, they'll go off first. The short, the long ends go first. almost there I have blank spots where there's no paint and I like to get rid of some more of the black and my pink well I see hints of pink hold on what do we think well I can't see your because I'm you know upside down hold on the other reason that I don't want to put on more paint is because I don't want to leave too much paint on the canvas and there's one spot I want to show you guys that I diff um, thought about puffing on and decided not to, and I'll show you why. Because it makes like a cool thing. Whoops. Let me see. What do we think? I love how big the cells get. I don't know about the black part. That's going to bug me or not. Let's go back up. I'm going to take you back up onto the counter. Hold on. It's taking me a minute because it's dripping and I'm trying not to drip all over my hardwood floors. Oh, my hair dryer's in the way. You guys see it? Oh, I'm all crooked. Crooked as all hell. Hold on. Come up this way, put you under there, stick you under there. What do we think? Oh, I'm still crooked. Hold on, I'm just gonna fix the camera instead of the... Think I see it okay? How's that? It's hard for me. Oh, I can look at my iPad. Hold on, let me wipe off my fingers. I can't see anything. Let me see. You saw my fur baby? I'll show you him. Go to my left. Super pretty. All right, y'all can see and hear me okay? That's good. So, let me do, I haven't had a chance to just stare at it. I like the bend. I'm not sure I like the black here. The cells up here definitely like have movement, like they're going up. Like see this part right here? Like there were, that was a black circle and I could have puffed on it and I knew if I didn't, the cells would have to like pick a direction and it makes it look um, dimensional right there. That part I do like. I like the pink. You think the black gives the eye? Leave the black? Yeah? 
I think I'm going to tilt it a little bit this way just to like straighten this out, not straighten it out like the cells because they look like they're about to dive off. So, and plus I want to see how much paint is left on the, on my canvas. I want to see how much it moves. If it's still sliding around a lot, I might have to um, tilt some more off. Oh, it's not bad. Am I done that quick? I have all this paint left. I should do another one. I agree with you, let's see. What do we think? Do we say, do I say ta-da? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Dawn. Like, does it belong there? I think this has too much black right here, so I'm gonna stick a finger in it. And if it makes a white line, I'll fix it later. Let me grab a skewer. Hi, Bella. You know Um. There. Meow, meow, meow. Meow. I'm gonna run that line up through the black there. My eye keeps coming back to this one cell right here, but I kind of feel like it's cute. Keep the black. Say ta-da. Should we do another one? <laughs> I like, I, I have the time and the paint, unless you guys go to be somewhere, and that's only like a half an hour. Should I make it a twofer? Who wants a twofer? I can just go grab another canvas and go again. Yeah? Yes, please. All right, let's do another one, twofer. All right, so just let me like wipe off the bottom with my skewer so I don't drip everywhere. And I'll put this on the counter behind me. And then um, at the end, we'll do two and then before I say goodbye, I'll pop the camera off and get you guys done for a close up on both of them. But I kind of like the black drama. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to use as much color on the next one. Um, I do love the pink with the lizard and crimson though, and the orange. Really, really pretty. I'm kind of thinking, okay, is this the top or is this the top? This guy, this way, this is a, a canvas, 12 by 24. Do I have TLCA with this palette? No way, no. Did anyone write that? I'll go over the colors again, Art Lore. All right, let me move this guy. Ugh. Say bye bye to him for now. I'm pretty happy with that guy though. He's pretty. Leave my little teeth behind. I'm setting them up, hold on. All right, I gotta go grab a canvas, potty break, be back in 60 seconds. <laughs> hold on.
here I'm just taping up I got another 12 by 24 I'm just gonna tape this up real quick I didn't expect that to go so fast. Usually I futz with them for a bit. All right, back in business. So the first one was a 12 by 24. Um, but it, and it's gallery wrap, but it's thin. It's just a 7 8 one that's from Blix. And this is a Michaels level three. So clear. Hi, Arissa. Yeah, I'm clear here. Like you all, like I can see me in my iPad and it looks pretty clear. Okay. All right. You guys ready? All right, so I wanna do this one. I'm gonna experiment just with like the lines a bit after I drink my lemonade. That should be plenty. Way plenty. And then let's just make it a little wider. This way. Whoa, and this way. Something like that. All right. Hi, Shelly. Okay. Oh my God. Hi, Inger. Is it Inger or Inger? Hard G or soft G from Norway. Thanks for joining. All right. So I'm gonna do like, like I don't mind. Like that's fun, but you do, it is a very specific look where you know you have like a tree or a branch or something with everything with the cells and lacing coming out. So what I thought I would do is something like a line here, a line here, and then a line here. So it's not just straight up and down. Although, you know, if I was smart, I would have just made an S shape. <laughs> uh, we'll roll with this though. So there's the Lizard and Crimson U by Golden. So that's the first color. People are asking about colors. Um, some people pronounce it Alizarin. It's a Lizarin. It's this stuff right here. A Lizarin Crimson U. That's the first color. On top of that, we're gonna put this little piggy and fairy floss, except I darkened it up with two drops of Cronacrono Magenta from Golden, so it's like two shades darker. So I'm gonna put that on top. And I think I'll do messy blowouts one at a time instead of going all the way up the line. And then after that we have um, Conacrona Nicolay, so gold from Golden, 
And you definitely want to put some of that on your white house paint to get all those different shades of orange and yellow for sure. Especially when it mixes with the, um, the super bright gold. It's kind of amazing. So there's the Crimson U. And then finally, we have Iridescent Gold Bright from Golden. The bright stuff, not the, not the fine. The fine is paler. This is like the brassier cousin. Let's do some of that. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Jiggle, jiggle. Keep on lurking, Julie. Thanks, Rosemary. All right. Looking good? I think it looks good. I'm gonna put a little bit more crimson because I'm just a sucker for this color. I go in phases, like I fall in love, like, do you guys do that? Like, I want Payne's Gray in everything. And then one day you fall out of love with Payne's Gray and you fall in love with another color. That's me like almost on a weekly basis. All right, so let's just do this blowout first. It's good, I'm gonna mess it. I'm not gonna try and make it like a bloom. No blooms tonight. We're just using the bloom recipe. That was too much CA, but let's blow it out anyway. All right, excuse my head, I am going to puff right there. Let that collect and let's do this next part. Try to ease up on the black. A little more in the middle. All right, let's do this guy. this wasn't a good idea because what it's doing is creating like this line through it it would probably was better to just make an s shape but we'll leave it be for now we'll see i already feel like it's um too busy Yeah, I love the colors. I love the stuff on the edges more than I do like anywhere else. But we'll see you through. Like I'm hating this. Like I'm hating that, like majorly. And that's, so when I spin, this stuff is gonna fly off. This is gonna grow right here in the middle. So I'm trying to figure out 
like in my head what the centrifugal force is going to do the first thing it does is take it off the tops and bottom and then then it does the sides but the part here in the middle that's going to remain these cells and lacing are going to go off to the side and leave this oogie part and i'm not going to like that let me blow out blow out the third one and then we'll take a look I'm hating this, you all. Oh, I just dropped the piece of paper in it. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, oops. <laughs> uh, better to tilt it. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Instead of spinning it. Um, I'm... Mm. I think I'm going to tilt because I need that. Well, if I'm going to tilt, I'm going to need, now I am going to need paint um, to help things slide a little bit. There, I'm going to try and save this one amazing corner up here. So I'm just going to put a bunch of white right there. And I go like this. And I'm going to tilt this one out. So we're going to take it. I need to get up to this one corner. And there's a ton of paint. So I'm just going to go for it. Take off some of the black. There's like too much going on. Too much, I say. Too much. And take the weight of my paint down. And while I'm down here, I'm still hating this one. I'm going to come off this corner and then change direction completely. Can you guys see what I'm doing now? No, I hate that corner. I'm not feeling it, y'all. That is not what I had in mind. Rather than continuing on with the tilting, I'd rather like call mulligan. So that little three thing did not work. I don't know. Let me stare a minute. What do you think, guys think? Well, lots going on. Yeah, it's two. Don't give up on it. This is all too plain. This is pretty right here. I don't like the black, but I probably stick my finger in it. This is too plain. This part here is kind of interesting. Okay, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me. This is what I should have done.
Mulligan. <laughs> yep. And I'm just going to go for it with the hair dryer. Here it goes. Oh, I'm liking this much better. I like the clusters with the watercolor effect so it's not like all cells everywhere. And like I was pretty pretty dang forceful with the hair dryer. So that stuff on the edge is gonna fly off. Uh, and you got it, Simona, that's it. Lizard and Crimson, Fairy Floss, Cuneg, iridescent gold bright but it's the bright gold not the regular so all right so let me move you back to the spinner sorry for the jiggle it's a road trip where am i hi <laughs> uh, okay i wish you all were just literally here in the kitchen right it would be so much fun all right, there we go. Whoops. Oh, I did a good job getting that on there. Nothing's touching. Fairly even. We're just going to give it some baby spins. Let the old paint run off. Try not to get too dizzy. Already loving the colors, though. Hold on, I'm going to stop it. Oh, yeah. See, like, this whole thing going up. I need to get rid of some stuff at the top. And this, I think I'm, I think a mulligan was the right call. What do you think? All right. Got to get off that stuff a little more. going. Oh, I missed. I just want to stare at it a second. I think it's freaking beautiful. Uh, All right, it still needs like that stuff to come off. Are you gonna go? Go ahead off, go ahead. You can do it. Go ahead, dive off. Don't be afraid. Where's my stick? Oh, 
Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Like one there, and can you see like one here? I can't see your guys' comments at um at the min at the moment because the camera's upside down. I'm like hunched over my pool. And that one little spot does not want to go. Where's the stick? I keep missing my stick. There we go. I'm going to scrape it off. I am loving the composition of this one. I'm going to take this one back up. I'm going to do this first. Underneath. I love the negative space. It has this one spot right here. I'm going to blow that off and just leave it be white. Because this is hella pretty. Hella, hella pretty. Okay, the pink, man. Love the pink. I'm going to move this first and then I'll move you guys. Right, guys hold on my hands are so disgusting I don't want to touch my phone I gotta I gotta rinse I'm like covered in paint All right, taking you for a ride. I'm a little crooked, but you can see, right? Just cover the spots like this spot right here. Let me draw my finger. Thanks, Carolyn. Like this right here. Like spot be gone. It's a spot remover. $19.99. Let me go ahead off. Mm hmm. It's a little dirty there. Hold on. I dipped my finger in some clean white so I could make it clean. That'll settle down by itself too. What do we think? Yeah, house bells. Yeah. You did you guys see uh, Finnegan? Oh my gosh, I trashed my floor. Not terribly bad. I've done worse. I'll show you in a second. Um, can you guys still see the S shape though? Kind of cool, right? Like, yeah, I like that way better. I'm not real crazy with this one spot right in the middle. I love everything else. I even like the white cells because they're actually like pale, pale pink. I got a little bit of um, a gold spot up here. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to do my skewer test and see if there's too much paint on there. And let me get a clean skewer. So, let me put it, so here it is, and it's beveled, right? So if it goes more than halfway beyond the bevel point, there's too much paint. And this is 
not quite half. So this should dry okay. I, I am in love with everything. I'm trying to see what offends my eye. Like overall, I think it's gorgeous, I do. Um, but there are little things that bug me, like this little black part. I don't like the way it just died. It needs to die like gentle, like a wispy into the night. Same with this one here. They kind of just, like go, go meet your friends over there. Like that, and then like this, this spot right here, I can't stand it. And there seems to be a lot of paint right there. So I'm gonna futz with it right there. And even if I make it white, I'll touch it up later when it's dry and make it color. And then you won't even care or notice. But it's already to me like looking better to my eyeball because it's smack dab in the middle, right? Um, you get TLP from the Fluid Art Co. And it's CO. It's, it's, um, if you, I don't have anything in my description yet for this video, but if you go to any other video, uh, there's a link to the Fluid Art Co. there. And I'm still not real happy. Or do I leave it? How's that part look to you? Is it better or worse? I think I'm saying ta da. Yeah. Boss that paint, yeah? We good? All right, I'm gonna move it over. I'm gonna wipe off the bottoms and move it, and I'm gonna get you guys down for a close-up of both. And then you can pick your favorite. Well, actually, I'm just gonna leave this one here. Better, yeah? Yeah, I love this style too. I'm going to be doing more of those. And I really like the S shape better than um, the straight up and down. Easier to deconstruct too, I feel. Yeah. Great save. Yay! The mulligan paid off. Uh, let me pop you guys off. Let me pop you up first. So you can see me. You can see the scientist. I'm just going to pop this off. Hopefully I don't hang up. Hi. Oh, no, I can see. Yeah. We liking it? I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy, happy, happy. All right. So let me flip the camera and we'll take a close look at this guy. And then the other one's on my other counter. Uh, first, say hi to Finn. Finn again. So hi, Finn. How's a boy? How's my good boy? How's my good boy? Okay. Stop folding. I'm done folding. I think there's a serious time lag. Okay, so I don't know if this is the bottom or the top, but it's an end. So here's the end. I like the black. I think it end, lends a lot of drama. And the color blending, y'all. The Cuneg. Look at all the different shades the Cuneg makes. And then the pink with the crimson. So pretty. Here's the middle section. There's the part I just stuck my finger in. And I'll probably paint that like pink or crimson or something when it's dry. And then here's the, coming up the top. I'm like following the S. Like all those colors. Oh my goodness. So happy. And then I'm in love with this whole thing here too. That is so, so cool. And then it comes off the end. And then... That's pretty much what it looks like. So there's that guy. And then let me take you over. Remember that here's the first one. And this one like has like this here with the line work. Hi, Oodles and Doodles. I love that name too. I do like the black after all. I do like the drama of it. And this part here in the center is super cool. And I gotta show you this other corner up here. This is so pretty, like that stuff. Yeah, totally, totally dramatic. The line is more straight because you know it was a straight line. So I definitely prefer the S. So give that a go. And let me flip around. Well, there's my, well, hold on. Bella, there's my cat. 
That's Bella. Bella has this, has her food on her counter, which I don't like, but it keeps the dog out of it. Number two. So the second one, I think the second one's the bomb. But they're both they're both pretty. You know, the same palette. Double from both. Oh, thanks, guys. Um, this was hella fun. Oh my gosh, eight forty one. So like yeah, a little over an hour. Yeah. Second one. Yeah, I will um I will show the dried results in a future video just so you guys can see them. Look, I'm like a mess. And then Oh, you can't see my floor. My floor's got spots. <laughs> anyway, uh, number two. Yeah, number two is the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, hella fun. I'm going to do these more often. They're so much fun. And I'll see you soon, right? I'm going to go. I'm going to go clean up. Hi, Lori. Yay. Bye, guys. Resin your canvas that does not work. No, not when it's long and skinny. No, does not work. See you. Toodaloo. Bye. <laughs> okay, I'm hanging up.